Before we take a look at our next game, Impulse versus CLG, we're going to face check the Twitter scene. Today we're talking about Team Pride and wanted you to share how you show your LCS support. Our first comes from at Thorn719, who's got a jacket, Cloud9 jacket, and tattoo. You know, for when the jacket's in the wash. Well, that is commitment there, sir. Good on you for that one. Then one fan has put their artistic skills to good use with a drawing of Ooh. Team Impulse. I like it. That's a lot of really eyes, cool. though. That's like yeah. a little, they're all staring at I like you can actually tell the difference just by looking at their eyes, which person it is. That's that, very that, tell, that's, that's a lot of They're detail. in also roll order. Yeah. Also that. Finally, <laughs> at Kadu Out sent him this pic of his cosplay, Cloud9 <sighs> Lucian. I mean, this is sweet. He also recently did Echo as well. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't seen that, check that out because it is sick. What, how do we leap the splash art for the championship, like, C9 wins Worlds <laughs> and Lucian skin comes out? This is, this is like time traveling That's already. That's it. All right. I like it. So we're predicting, uh, predicting that, the that, results of meant, Worlds right I'm there. I'm glad Jack's here great, to like, put great. an extra space between us now. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I think Freak just predicted Cloud9 to win Worlds. That's no. exactly <laughs> what happened. He put, his, he put your bid in just great. now. All right. Thank you to everyone who sent in pictures. Or if you haven't yet, it's not too late. So tweet at Lull Esports and use the hashtag LCS. But let's shift gear with our next match, Team Impulse versus Counter Logic Gaming. These are two teams that bring very different personalities to their games. So get ready for a battle of chaos versus order, gentlemen. Yeah, and I mean, yesterday, CLG, they played an incredibly clean game against Dignitas, who just also played a great game against Cloud9. So that kind of speaks well to CLG's power level right now. They didn't give up a single turret. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to that because Team Impulse, they play a lot more fast and loose, and they often win by team fighting again and again. So the team that imposes their style, whether it be CLG with the rotations and turret pushing or Impulse forcing fights when the other team doesn't want to, it's likely going to be the team that wins here. And I think we're going to see both teams try to exert that very early on. You're going to see Rush making early moves and CLG possibly trying a lane swap and then trying to get that advantage early on because they're going to try to set the tempo first. And whoever gets that jump is really going to have the, ups the upside here. And TIP yesterday going on their performance, they pulled out four new champions and they performed on them. And they've had a mixed history of performing. We've seen Impact Yasuo yesterday was really good. He, last time he pulled out a new champion, he was like Morgana top lane. Really good success on that champion. So the fact he's able to whip out these things and he's able to perform on stage with them is a blessing to TIP. Because on the other side, we have Rush. Like Rush yesterday, he had a 91% kill participation on Evelyn. Last time he tried to whip out a new champion, it was like Sejuani in the playoffs. And that did not go well for this team. No. So they have a mixed bag when trying new things. And yesterday was a good sign for them of things to come. And I'm really excited for this series, or this game, I should say, just because of how darn good like all these players are. Like You go down the roster and you're like, Impact, like, probably by far the best top player in the NALCS, and Zion Spartan, who's probably top three for himself by far. Um, you've, got, <laughs> you've got Rush, who is... I think clearly the best mechanical jungler here in the NALCS, and, and Smithy is also a very mechanics-heavy driven player. They're both like big Lee Sin mains. That's going to be explosive. You got Rush Hour bot lane in here. Like, there's so many like wonderful household names doing battle that, like, regardless of whichever style happens, the team fight's going to be super fun to watch because you have some of the very best players in the region in this game. And the thing for me when the team fights do break out is how is Poe Belter going to hold up on this CLG newest member to this roster? Mm -hmm. How is he going to perform in these team fights and mesh with them when TIP, all they do is basically team fights so they know each other's ins and outs? All right, well, both of these teams starting 1-0. One of them's got to win. One of them's got to lose. We'll find out as we send it to our caster desk for the call. Doublelift explains that Impulse is one of the league's biggest wild cards and has gotten the attention of all of the top teams. I think everyone has their eye on TIP. Even the really top teams like Cloud9 and TSM, they're always eyeing TIP because they do a lot of really smart stuff that other teams don't do. I guess they're a threat, yeah. I'm not like super scared of them, but they're one of those teams that can take a game off anybody. I wouldn't have expected any less from Doublelift. I'm not afraid of them. <laughs> That's exactly what Double says about everybody. They're, you have to keep your eye on them because oh, yeah. their style is so fast-paced. If you have a quick tempo team like that, then just one small mistake early game, they rush you down. And it's, it's more than one of their players that can make that happen as well. It's not the full team that needs to take care of that mistake. Let's check out the teams with a roster rundown on the blue side. It's going to be Team Impulse. That's Impact in the top lane. Rush in the jungle. Xiaowei Zhao in mid. AD Carry is Apollo. And Adrian at support. And on the red side, it's Counter Logic Gaming up top. Zion Spartan in the jungle at Smithy, mid Pobelter. AD Carry double lift and support Aframu. 
I'm sure they saw the Yasuo play yesterday from Impact. I'm sure they're not too worried about it, but they know there are nice. tricks, tricks up the sleeve. Science? <laughs> Yasuo is science. For a team impulse, they've got the two yeah. main Yasuo players. Down uh, to a North science, America. you could say. Definitely have that. Uh, the Bami Cinder pickup, uh, an Impact special. I was talking to all the other top laners, and they're like, eh. 